Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. As of April 30th, 2021. Well, today's topic is Republicans and pedophilia and why so many Republican GOP members are being arrested and indicted for pedophilia. And I don't, I can't really talk about why they're actually committing pedophilia because that is just so wrong. But I mean, if you remember from our earlier videos, we saw that how a Republican, the Republican governor of Florida has passed a new law allowing school administrators to check the genitals of a male or female child before they go into a restroom to make sure that they are a male or female child. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like the starting of a very bad Republican pedophilia ring. But as we also know, Donald Trump, the leader of the Republican pedophilias, is basically been charged with having uh, raped a 13-year-old girl as well as other sexual assault charges. Now, why he would do stuff like that is... Um, the only thing I can really guess is, is that he got really super messed up on all the drugs he did. So it's been a proven fact that Donald Trump actually has done a lot of drugs, hence the fact why he wears diapers and he can't hold it in when he has to take a poop. I mean, I've showed other video about this in, in other of my videos, about especially one of the guys who was doing, had, had to do the apprentice with him, when he's on the apprentice, and how they'd have to stop shooting whenever he'd publicly defecate himself next to other judges, then they have to take him backstage, take his diaper off, and they at least actually have one of their stage hands actually wiped down diaper dawn. So I'm guessing most likely the chances are he did too many drugs in the past, and that's the reason why he likes little girls under age, as well as very, well, well, as well as very, very undereducated people. Hence all the Republicans, the, the Trump supporters out there that basically kiss his butt whenever they, whenever he asks. Even though they may, they may love him to death, but he despises them. Just for one simple reason, is because they don't have money. And that's what he needs. He needs people with money that he could swindle out of. Look, I don't know, say Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley and, you know, the other Republican Party. Especially Mitch McConnell, since he's an idiot as well. But that's besides the point. <clears throat> Let's see here. We actually have a nice little list of Republicans that have been charged with sex crimes, whether it be pedophilia or others. So let's see what this list tells us here. We have Andrew Burr, charged with two counts of sodomy with a 13-year-old boy. Ooh, that's nasty. With, charged with two counts of sodomy with a 13-year-old boy. Yeah, that's right. He wanted to... That, ugh, that's just so disgusting. Why would you want to do that with a 13-year-old boy or a 13-year-old girl? I, because, please, myself, I'd rather be with a woman around my age. If he was 45 and, okay, not sodomy, of course. But I'm just, I'd rather be with a 45-year-old woman instead of a 13-year-old boy or girl. Because that's just so wrong, disgusting. And then let's see, we also have uh, Justin Butler arrested for sexual assaulting a 16-year-old, his 16-year-old niece. Ugh. That's... Pedophilia and was incest? That is so disgusting. Ugh. Well, let's see. We have Robin Cart Cardwell, a Republican strategist and basically military college graduate who was convicted of veg oh, vagina on five. <laughs> That's what it says. Convicted in Virginia. Sorry, on five counts of. Assisting sex from boys and girls over the internet. Wow, that is, that is, what is with these Republicans? I mean, come on here. I mean, we have Kevin Cohen, an election board official arrested for soliciting sex over the internet from a 14-year-old girl. We have Mark Foley, a congressman resigned in 2006 for sending inappropriate emails to, Cong to congressional pages. Ed Let's see, he doesn't really say, uh, let's see here. This appears to have been a huge scandal at the time. His emails, some of them actually were made public, were definitely creep, creeper level. Law states the a person must have contact to attempt to have a contact with a minor to arrest warrant. Then we have 
Jack Gardner, which is a Marine and ex-councilman convicted of molesting a 13-year-old girl. We have Marty Glickman, convict, convicted in Florida for four counts of unlawful sexual activity with an underage girl. What, they can't give us the age of under, underage girl so we know exactly what type of pedophilia he's been going in? I mean, what, was she a month, was she a day away from turning 18, or was she actually like 12 years old? I mean, come on, really? And then we have Mark Harris, convicted of repeatedly having sex with an 11-year-old girl is sentenced to 17 years in prison. Really? So he's having sex with a 17 year old girl and got seven, what? So 11 year old girl. Ugh, that's even worse. And 17 years in prison, that's all he gets. Most sex offenders, if they go to prison, they get a lot more ter lot more uh, years than that. Unless the judge is being a fuck that will uh, slap you on hand, let you walk free type judge. And those, those ones are crap. Then we got Howard Scott Heldreth. Convicted child rapist in Florida. We have Johnny Hathaway, congressional candidate accused of having sex with his 17 year old babysitter. And with. Wow, 17 year old babysitter. Uh, uh, okay, he's underage, she's underage. Uh, I'm trying to figure that one out there. They're both underage, but otherwise, why would he need a babysitter? But still, on the set, nonetheless. And reduce his candidacy, candidacy after the allegations were reported to the media. We have Dennis Rader, Republican Boy Scout, leader of and zoning supervisor, pleading guilty to performing sexual acts on an 11-year-old girl he murdered. Oh, wow. The Republican Boy Scout leader. The sexual act with an 11-year-old girl and he murdered her? He, he's a lot worse. He is also the known as the BTL serial killer, and killed over eight people. However, no uh, references were made to his political associations could be found. Then we have Tom Randall, Republican politician, sorry, petitioner, petition leader, Tom Randall. Pleads guilty to molesting two girls under the age of 14. Really? That's not good. Then they couldn't, then there's Peter Schumit, Schumit, S C H M I T T, Schumit. They couldn't find anything on him, couldn't find anything online. But his name's in there as a pedophile, so, you know. Then we got David Schwart, David Schwart, Republican County Commissioner David Schwart pled guilty to molesting two girls under the age of 11 and was sentenced to three years in prison. Oh my God, really? Three years in prison? The other guy got 17 years in prison? I mean, come on, can these judges actually, you know, make it so these people learn from lessons so they can meet their new boyfriend named Bubba? Because that's just wrong. Then we got Lawrence Scott Ward, Republican consultant arrested for, sorry, arrested at Dooley's Airport after authorities found child pornography and videotapes of him having sex with children. Ugh, man, what is it with these Republicans? These are all Republicans, if you believe that. They're all Republicans. Then we have Stephen Wesley, Republican act activist and James Dobson's protege. Convicted of sexual assault after being charged with molesting an eight-year-old... Oh, my God. An eight-year-old boy. What is with this? I mean, I can, never, I can never figure it out. I mean, why would you want to even go there? I mean, come on. What Doesn't people around your age actually seem to be more friendly? You know, because consensual with... Someone around your age it works a lot better than having sex with a child. That's just disgusting. But let's see here. Let's see if there's any. Uh... Ah, let's give you a. Let's see here. I can't find anything on really. Uh... Wow. 
I see a lot of stuff on here about uh, Repu about Republicans, but <laughs> these are all a lot more Republicans. What the heck, man? There's a lot of them. Republican activist Marty Glickman was taken into custody by Florida police on four counts of unlawful sexual activity with an underage girl and one count of delivering a drug LSD. Republican legislative aide Howard L. Brooks was charged with molesting a 12-year-old boy and possession of child pornography. Oh my God, what is it with people going after the little kids? I mean, that is just so fucked up. And these are all Republicans. This list is never ending of just straight up Republicans. Let's see here. Oh, we, we got a few Democrats. Let's see here. Democrat donor and billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. There you go. And it's supposed to be, and he was a Democrat, and yet he hung out with Trump, a Republican. How nice. Ran an underage child sex brothel and was convicted of soliciting underage girls for prostitution. New York Congressman Anthony Winder pled guilty to uh, transferring obscene materials to a minor as part of a plea agreement and sexted uh, and sending Twitter DMs to underage girls as young as 15. I mean, the, the Democratic list actually is not big. I mean, there's, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 Democrats. And if you count the Republicans, oh my God, the list just doesn't stop any with the Republicans. I mean, why would you want to be a Republican, especially when they're representing the worst part of humanity, going after our children? That is so messed up. Like I said, this has been a mental service update that you know about the pedophile Republicans, I guess. There's a few Democrats out there, too, but most of them are Republicans, if, as you've, pay, if you've been paying attention to what's been going on out there, because the Florida, the new uh, Florida state law set by Republican, because Florida is a Republican state. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's so, it's just so terrible out there. We need to fix this and stop, stop the pedophilia because that is just so wrong in so many ways. And especially that one Republican that did pedophilia and incest. That was, ugh, that was just so disgusting. But I will actually end my uh, video at this present time before I actually gross myself out even worse than I already have by th even thinking about that crap. So, until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there. And what else can I say? But let's keep the faith there, people. Okay? Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party. I'm there, I get paid a fee. Let's ride and I, and I won't be long till I hit the guns, fly, hit the guns, fly. I'm living out in.